tournament here at Pepsi Center. He's getting checked in and ready to go here. His opponent is from Glenwood Springs, Barham. And they'll get checked in. We'll be ready to roll here in just a second. After this match, we'll have time to give you a recap of what's happened earlier in the day with Class 2A and 3A wrestling. And that should lead us up fairly closely into the 220-pound uh, match for Toby McBride and the 285-pound match for Jesus Sabara. Shriver out on the mat, and he is ready to roll. Uh, he's checked in, and the Mustangs are just about underway here from the 2014 State Wrestling Tournament. Justin Barham, a senior from Glenwood Springs, 35 and 5. Shriver, 33 and 10, as a junior. They are underway. Forehead to forehead, they split apart and come back into the center of the ring. Shriver working from the very center and Barham working around the 10-foot circle. Now they lock up. See who takes the first shot 30 seconds in. They'll break apart. Glenwood Springs wrestler steps clear over to the other side of the mat, backing up near the edge of the ring. The Mustang Jr. forehead to shoulder, and they'll slip out of bounds and go back to the center and reset with 1 minute 13 seconds to go in the first period. Well, they'll reset. We're down to a minute to go in the first period. Now, Glenwood Springs wrestler putting on some pressure, pushes Shriver back towards the edge of the mat. Shriver turns back in towards the center. Now they're working wrists, trying to get control to open up a shot. Neither wrestler's taken much of a shot at all. Down to 45 seconds to go in the first period. Now here's the shot, reaching for a single is Barham from Glenwood Springs. Big hard cross face by Shriver. He's got a hold of a near ankle trying to flatten out the Glenwood Springs wrestler. 25 seconds to go in the period. Either wrestler could end up in control. Now Barham uses his hips, pops his hips over the top of Shriver. And Chris Shriver is going to be taken down with just 14 seconds left in the first period. So Shriver will find himself down, works, makes his way back up to his base position. Trying to get to his feet, final five seconds. Can he break out in the last second? He turns back in, but Barham hangs on to the single leg to maintain control. So the first period comes to a close. Christopher Shriver trailing by a score of 2-0. The choice is deferred off to Shriver. Shriver's going to start from the bottom here in the second period. You're listening to 1010 KSIR, Brush, Fort Morgan, Denver, and 94.5 The Ranch, KRFD, Marino. Underway in the second period, Shriver working from the bottom, makes his way up to his feet. Barham trying to get a hold of an outside cradle, but here is Shriver onto his feet, trying to break the grip. If he can break free of the tight waist, he pops loose, gets his escape, and it's now 2-1. to one. So Christopher Shriver, the Fort Morgan Jr., trailing by one. And they're on their feet. They split back apart. And they come back inside the 10-foot circle and dance around. Shriver tapping the Glenwood Springs wrestler on the forehead. Now they grab a hold of the scruff of the neck and look for control before a shot can be taken. Down to a minute to go here in the second period. Shriver trying to reach for a single leg and counter shot by Barham. And this is kind of the same position he was in. Got a hold of a single, now trying to use his hips to get around on the side. Shriver is going to hang on to a single leg, or hang on to the far ankle, I should say, and try and prevent the takedown. Best he can hope for is a stalemate right here. <laughs> he's losing that. He lost that ankle. Now he's just up around the head trying to work almost a power half Nelson from that position but just really trying to defend himself and prevent being taken down. He does pop out to the side now. If he can break that ankle free he can get an escape but now here comes the big high single leg trip and they're going to come back down side by side again 
Shriver does a nice job of keeping his hips up, trying to stay on top. Nine seconds to go. If he could settle down and get control here, he could take the lead. Five seconds to go. Can he settle back in? The Glenwood Springs wrestler with a hold of an ankle, and Shriver looked like he was in a dangerous position. Then all of a sudden, looked like he could complete the takedown. But in the end, nothing happens. Oh, wait a minute. He did get the, they did give him the takedown. So he does get the takedown, so he does get the lead, 3-2. to two. So Shriver does get the takedown. He goes up by a score of 3-2. to two. And now he'll ride in the third period. Quick switch by Barham, and he gets an easy reversal on Shriver. So now Shriver's down 4-3. to three. Shriver working from the bottom, and Barham trying to bull drive that right arm. Got a hold of the right arm, had the forehead and the armpit trying to drive it over, but Shriver was not going to give it to him. So now Barham working from the left side, big hard cross face, cranking over from the left side. <laughs> Using that uh, Turk ride that you see the brush wrestlers use quite a bit, trying to just tilt over. Trying to tilt over uh, Shriver. He's not going to go. He gets his shoulders up to about 90 degrees, but that's all the farther he's going to go. <clears throat> Down to a minute to go in the match, and Shriver trails by a score of 4-3. to three. So Shriver's down by one with just under a minute to go in his opening match here at the State Tournament of Pepsi Center. Glenwood Springs wrestler cranking that hard cross face again. Now trying to reach through and maybe set up a cradle, but Shriver's not going. Shriver just can't get anywhere. The Glenwood Springs wrestler got the has a leg wrapped up in there. <coughs> Continues with the cross face. That's a good <coughs> excuse me. Not sure what happened in there, but a potentially dangerous move called. Not sure where he went, but that helped Shriver. So he's down to 23 seconds left in the match, and he is down by a score of 4-3. to three. So Shriver's going to need a quick escape here. Let's see what he can do. Nice job off the whistle by the Glenwood Springs wrestler Barham. And now he's going to bull drive the right side, and Shriver can go nowhere. So he's down four to three, final few seconds, and Chris Shriver running out of time. There's a caution for stalling with six seconds left. So that was a little gift for Christopher Shriver. It stops the clock with six seconds, gives him a chance to reset. So he, if he can get a quick escape, he could send this to overtime. He makes it briefly onto his feet, tries to grab that kind of chicken wing and roll through, but time is going to expire and he won't be able to finish it. So Shriver is going to lose a tough one here. He'll lose the match by a final score of 4-3, to three, and he will drop down to the consolation side of the bracket. So we'll take a timeout, and then we'll come back and give you a wrap-up of all of our area schools. We're back after this here on 1010 KSIR, KSIR.com, and 94.5 The Ranch.